If you don't like this video in the next 6.9 seconds, you will look like this guy on the screen. Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video on this channel. Today we are going to be talking about an FPS boost guide. Now this is what I've used in the past and it's actually helped me out a lot for my FPS because in game I was getting about 50 FPS. Even though I do run at a 60 hertz monitor right now, I do cap my FPS at 120 because I feel like if I cap my FPS at 60, it's a lot more stuttery. And if I do it at 120, it's a lot more smooth and accurate with the FPS. Now this is stuff I'm going to show you that worked for me, so this might not work for your kind of PC. But basically, I'm just going to show you my methods, but first I'll show you the in-game settings from Fortnite. Now this might help out a lot. Alright, so if you're going to go for performance-wise and you don't want to see anything that looks relatively good, basically you're just going to Probably settings you're gonna go view distance near shadows off which you should always have shadows off it's just a waste anti-analyzing off textures low effects low post processing low and you're gonna go v-sync off that's a guarantee motion blur there's no need for it off show up ps it doesn't matter if you want uh, I have mine on direct X 11 right here you can do whatever you want whatever works best for you allow multi-threaded rendering i have that off and this one right here i have that off and also make sure that you have your window mode on full screen i feel like a lot of people have had better fps with full screen instead of window full screen and as you can see right here it shows that i should have mine on 60 fps but i have mine at 120 because it feels a lot better and then all of these settings these are just normal and stuff all right now that we're done with that we're going to check out some methods that i used to get better fps also, make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys want a more complex FPS guide because I did a lot more complex stuff with mine. These are just the basic FPS stuff that should give you an extra maybe 50 FPS or even maybe a lot more than that. It depends. I have no idea. Mine was pretty much a big difference. Mine was like 50, 60 FPS and they're a lot more smoother now. All right, so basically what you're going to want to have is Razer Cortex here and you can probably just search it up on Google and you can download it. Now, basically what this does is if I load this up right here and go full screen, you're going to want to go to boost. Anytime you load up Fortnite, as you can see, the last time I loaded up Fortnite, this is 844 megabytes of RAM released. Now, basically, what you're going to do is when you're in the boost is you're going to want to go to auto boost. So every time you load it up, so every time you load it up, it's going to basically just release all that RAM and it'll make your game run a lot smoother. Or you can just do it manually sometimes whenever you want. But basically, this really helps out a lot. I suggest you guys getting this. This helped out a lot. So if you guys want really good FPS, make sure to download this. It's free. Nothing, no viruses or anything. I don't have any viruses on my computer. All right, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is GeForce Experience. I'm pretty sure most people should have it. Some people probably won't have it. All right, before we continue with this video, if you guys want to, you can please leave a like and subscribe. It's completely free. Nothing's going to happen. And it helps me out a lot, and I can make more videos like this for you guys in the future. And helping you out with FPS and all that stuff and in-game performances. So if you guys want more of that, make sure to drop a like because it lets the video get across to more people like you. So just drop a like right now and subscribe if you want to. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is go on GeForce Experience. And you're going to want to go to Drivers right here. And basically, every now and then, you're going to want to do Check for Updates right here. And it should, like even right here, I'm pretty sure I have a new one coming. Like as you can see... Mine's 442.59, this one's 445, and I can install this one. So basically every now and then you're going to want to install that, or should I say update, I don't know why I said install. But basically when you update it, it's going to let you get the best performance possible, and the newest like stuff and all that. Also, I'm no expert when it comes to computers, so if it sounds like I have no idea what I'm talking about, I probably don't have any, any idea. It's just this is what I learned from like watching YouTube videos on FPS guides, and I'm gonna sh I just wanted to share with you guys and stuff. Because I noticed that a lot of people are having a bunch of FPS bugs and stuff like that in season two and chapter two and so vice so that's why i'm making this video so basically what you're going to do is go for check for updates right here and you're just going to press that and it should check for updates i'm just going to make this full screen right here all right as you can see if i press check for updates nothing happens right here so i'm pretty sure i'm up to date with the latest driver all right so basically the last thing this is like the most simple fps guide that i can possibly give you guys so basically this is the last thing Basically what you're going to do is come down here right here as this little circle thing and you're going to search up Windows Update Settings and you're going to click on that right here. And as soon as this loads up, I just clicked on it right here. It should load up right here and you're going to check if you're up to date right here. As you can see, I'm up to date. Last checked yesterday, 2.28 p.m. Okay, never mind. I am not up to date. I can download and install this one right here so I could probably get extra FPS right there. But basically, that's going to be really it for this tutorial. I mean, that's all. You're just going to want to update your Windows constantly, your drivers on GeForce Experience. Make sure your in-game settings match your PC. You can honestly, you can even, if I go on Fortnite right here, 
you can go to settings and auto set them to like your quality of your PC and it'll make sure that it does it pretty good so let's say I just press auto set let's see what the sets here high 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 and then far which is not bad I mean but obviously you're gonna want to check off shadows shadows is just a waste honestly it just waste FPS but usually when I'm just playing by myself and solo and I'm not recording any videos I just have them all in low to get the best performance quality possible because even when you're landing in game my frames will be stuttery still sometimes I'm not sure if that's my PC or if that's Fortnite but I hope it's not my PC I hope it's just Fortnite I hope they fix it because they're not doing anything about it and I feel like a lot of people have been having that too but honestly I'm going to give a quick rundown of the settings I use usually when I'm just playing solos by myself I will use view distance either at near I'll just use all of these low or I'll put my view distance at far and my textures at medium or far or high I mean just because it gives it a little bit of better of advantage to see farther and stuff and like I said earlier I'm not no expert about Fortnite settings and stuff so if I'm saying anything wrong like make sure to comment down below and I will fix it in the next video I do make sure to comment down below and leave a like to get more people to see this video and more comments if you guys want more so anyway that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you in the next one peace out